Our 2015 recipient, chosen unanimously from a committee of veteran SJD members, is Dr. George Daniels from the University of Alabama. Daniel is a faculty member at Alabama since 2003 and currently an assistant dean and chief diversity officer for the College of Communication and Information Sciences, has spent nearly two decades fostering scholastic journalism through all three pillars of academia, teaching, <coughs> research, and service. One of the nominator, one of his nominators writes, quote, a mix of leadership and entrepreneurialism on-the-ground outreach and activism and academic research is what sets Dr. Daniels' efforts in scholastic journalism and diversity apart. Dr. Daniels has been a tireless advocate for high school journalism and the pursuit of diversity within the profession and within the news. Among his efforts, George has partnered with students at the McWayne Science Center in Birmingham to produce a newspaper about their inner city neighborhoods. He's assisted Tuscaloosa area high schools that were struggling to maintain their journalism programs. And he's helped Oakdale Elementary School launch a school newsletter. Daniels also facilitated and directed a multicultural journalism workshop at the University of Alabama and consistently teaches at scholastic journalism conferences and events. His work has also been felt nationally. A certified master journalism educator, a designation given by JEA and mostly held by high school journalism teachers, Daniels has facilitated a diversity-oriented conference for high school teachers. He served on the advisory board for the Knight Center for Scholastic Journalism and served on AEJMC's Commission on the Status of Minorities. In addition to his hands-on work in multicultural recruitment, Daniels has also been a prominent researcher in diversity and journalism. From examining the gender divide in high school student media involvement to studying racial diversity in local commercial television, Daniels has had more than 20 articles published in top research <coughs> journals and has had presented more than 50 of his studies at various academic conferences. Another nominator best sums up Dr. Daniels' work. The amount of time and attention he devotes to recruiting minorities into journalism, not only at our school, but other schools around the country is mind-boggling. He is a beacon of light among scholastic journalism educators who often become jaded. It's my honor to present the 2015 Robert P. Knight Multicultural Recruitment Award to Dr. George Daniels of the University of Alabama. <laughs> Joe, thank you so much for the honor. Uh, I just wanted to acknowledge uh, several people here from the University of Alabama who are part of our team. Um, Jennifer Greer, who is my department chair in journalism, interim dean in the College of Communication and Information Sciences, as well as uh, a mentor, period. Uh, she's here. Stan, say hello. Well, yes. Very important to have those individuals around working with you. But when you're doing things like uh, diversity and working and leading diversity, it has to be done not only by you as an individual, but those you work with. And um, we're also fortunate to have another, another member of our team from Alabama here, the chair of our advertising public relations department, Dr. Joe Phelps. Raise your hand, and Joe. And whenever we're out working with students, especially if they're not our college students, that means we're taking away time from teaching our students in our classes. And that means they have to be patient if we take a little bit more time to respond to an email or need them to help us with a project. And Charles Watkins is here, one of our students. Well, graduates, graduates now. Uh, he was a graduate student in one of my classes when I was doing the work that I was doing with Oakdale a couple of years ago. Um, I just want to say a couple of quick things, and I know uh, time is very short. One is, is just reminded about the way that Robert Knight operated. I never got a chance to meet Robert Knight, but this summer I spent some time with some of my colleagues from the University of Missouri to learn more about who Dr. Knight was and the legacy that he left in terms of how you run a summer workshop, how you go about recruiting and networking students 
with jobs in the industry, and also just the way in which you refer to students, that he didn't want it to be called a minority <coughs> workshop. That's why he called it Ahana. He also wanted to make sure that students got a real-world experience when you're introducing journalism to them, to them. And so even though he's not with us anymore, we carry that legacy on in 2015. We also update that legacy in 2015 by uh, recognizing we're not just teaching them about newspapers or, or, or teaching them how to do magazines, but we're introducing journalism now as a digital profession. And so this summer in Alabama, we were excited to include 3D printing as a part of our introduction to journalism. We're talking about students who are digital natives who need to be introduced to media, and that means we have to take a digital approach. So over the next few months, I'm going to be writing a lot more about this issue in terms of how we update our strategies for digital recruitment of students, keeping in mind it's still about accuracy, it's still about ethics, it's still about making sure that you have the full story, but also that the tools that you're using are the same digital tools that you might be walking around with talking on the phone, and you can be taking pictures, taking video, you also can be exploring opportunities in engineering that also are media related because now a media company is not just a traditional media outlet. So it's really important as we go forward in multicultural recruitment that we take a 2015 approach. And I'm excited that the AAJMC Scholastic Journalism Division is leading the way in doing that. We're going to lead organizations like JEA, NSPA, and all of our state press associations in doing just that. Thank you so much for this award. I look forward to continuing the work.